Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode in Mini Sorna. We are on episode 6 last we left off. We worked on all the way over here. We worked on the Archon. Now a little change that I made. Uh, I added a second one because this one was glitching out. I think it's just a little bit too far for the Archelons to sense and come out. But this one did work and we got some Archelons here. Of course, got the Tyrannus here just chilling out. I could actually delete this rock, but eh, I'm gonna keep it there for visual reasons, I guess. I last mentioned that we were going to be working over here, and we were gonna do the- wait, wait, what the- uh, what are you doing here? Okay, we ha the female Rex is out. Uh, is the male? No, but, uh, and another dry assert. Okay, it's... Okay, that's a way to start the episode, so, uh, we have a series of breakout. Oh, there we go. Yep, it's on aggressive. She's gonna eat someone at home. Oh, get, okay, okay, that didn't take long. Why'd I turn that on? So, we were going to do the hybrid section next, but we're gonna actually work on this section first. We're gonna finish up the Carno section, and I'm thinking we're keeping it simple. We're gonna have an aviary and a little platform. Nothing too crazy. Alright, let's try this. Let's put you back in there. That was a cracker start for it. Oi, mister, you wanna explain why your girl um, just decided to up and leave? Not gonna talk, eh? I respect that. The reason I'm switching from doing the hybrids and going over to, um, here is mainly just the fact that, you know, we've been doing a lot of hybrid stuff. I actually am working on a massive speed build, and for that I wanted to take a break from hybrids and, you know, just get back in touch with nature and such, you know? Real dinos, nature, good things. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to first remove the mountain side here. I will be putting it back, but I'm doing um, a platform. Oh my god, I forgot how loud those T-Rexes are. It it's been a while since I recorded the last one. I've been very busy with um, other episodes and such, you know, covering camp, well, chaos theory and such. So I've been busy with a bunch of other stuff. Okay, so we're going to have... We, do we want just one aviary? Let's see how- oh yeah, we're not doing three. I was thinking maybe we could do three, but uh... No, there'd be no way that we could figure it out. Alright, so... We're gonna first add the aviary. And I'm gonna actually use sand to mark where I'm gonna keep the path... Well, the land around. So, right around there... That's our border, so we're gonna raise up the land and so next episode guys we'll probably work on the hybrid section unless you know something happens jesus good grief can you guys quiet down so yeah it's been a while since i actually recorded the last episode for this because i've been busy with um loads of other episodes guys and i've been trying to do more speed builds and tips and tricks and glitches videos and also i want to get back into theory videos and it seems every time I do that, I just forget that this series exists because it's always these episodes that fall behind. Like, there's a reason why the first episode was three months ago and we've only done, like, five episodes or four. Whatever, we haven't done much. Do I want this aviary? Well, let's see. I don't want to use th this one right now, I think. Now nah, let's go with the Jurassic Park one, it'll work better. Alright, so, we're gonna first work with that. And then what we'll do is first we're gonna work on the guest section. Oh yeah, these guys have a very sensitive ring, I forgot. Okay, hold on. We'll use... Big Brain Idea. Alright, so that's a little off, but that'll be fine. Yeah, actually, that's perfectly fine. So, let's grab the aviary, and it should fit. Alrighty, it does fit. And what I'll do is I'm going to actually 
keep this section empty for now. I'll, whatever I end up doing here, I'll do later. That way I can have a spot to put the aviary hatchery. And let's first get to work on elevating. Well, is that a good height? Yeah, that's a good height, actually. And then we can creep it in a little bit more. And what I'm going to do is we're going to work on another path, which got to find an end. All right, so there we go. We have our connection, which now that I'm looking at it, it's making me think of my um, key exhibit in my Lagoon Park. Well, my version 2 Lagoon Park. It looks like a key. Like, you got the centerpiece with, like, the little hole, and then you got the little gizmos that, like, line up with the locks, and then the end a little part. That's weird. I did not intend for another key exhibit, but I, I guess we're going for it. Oh uh, yeah, well, we can't really play with the terrain too much here. Here, what I'll do is first let's make sure that this is still dirt underneath because I don't want it going crazy. Or sand, actually. Sand will be... No, sand actually blends too much. Let's go with... Yeah, the black rock will work. That sounds weird to say. Alright, so, there we go. And what we'll do is get rid of the water for the moment. There we go, you can see it nice and easily. And we'll level, let's level it out a little bit. And we'll try and keep to the line, so that way it, when it's, when we lower it down, we can get the water back in easily. Okay, so, viewing, yes, viewing vent first which we'll use the snap toggle, which... Okay, we'll go on an angle for this because I want to keep it all lined up. And then we need guess which for this, we're gonna first put a hotel here. And I'm putting a hotel... Oh yeah, we'll need to lower the water there. We'll add a small hotel because It'll actually work nicely. The only thing I like about these is when I do like these little market squares, these work out really well for folding in right there. And then I can put like a dino sign here, which I don't think we have a Carnotaurus one, so we'll have to use something like, I think we have the Metricanthosaur one. All right, and then we'll go for, well actually, oh yeah, it's in here. No, it's in attractions. Where is the big viewing attraction building? Guest to tr oh god. Will that even be able to fit? Well actually what I'll do is actually first enclosures, fences. Alright, up to here, and then Well let's put one more tab right there just in case this is how I like to do it that's the wrong one Austin that's the right one and we need shopping and that will do there and what we'll do is actually configure will this one will actually have on the side right there we can uh, I wish we could put stuff right here, because, like, there's literally a giant blank slot there. But then what we'll do is get rid of that. Nope, there we go. And then... Well, actually, no, it'll be hidden, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, because I'm going to put... Uh, that's not the right one, Austin. To almost three years of this game, well, two and a half, basically, and I still have trouble finding things. We might have to scrap this building. Yeah, it's too big. It's too big for right here for what I want to do. It's not working out. What we'll do is actually instead... Security bunker. There we go, line it up. And boom. And that way, we can fence off right about here again. About there. 
Boom. Boom. And oh, I should block it off. Actually, hold on, hold on. Let's let's rearrange that. Let's try it again. So we'll go back there again, and then that should be just right. Yes, it is. And then we can put some decorations or whatever here. And because I don't like having the security bunkers like so open in like some of these. Depending on where it is, really. I don't like them being crazy open. Alright, so... Let's do that again. Take two. Heavy fence? Oh, yeah. The fence that's right in front of you, genius. Jesus, I was like, what the hell is it complaining about now? There we go. And we'll fence it up right here. There we go. Boom. Alright, so. We'll go out a bit more. No, that's not right. There you go. And... Nope, stop snapping. Get back there. Thank you. And then... There, and then... Delete those. And then we hide the back right there. Well, actually, up to... There. And also... Well, actually, just we'll go for the Jurassic Park fence here. And there you go. Nice and secure. Nothing too crazy. Security shelter there, so that'll help. A T-Rex angry or happy, you decide. We need guest facilities, which I think... Ooh, maybe we can squeeze one in. Ooh, yes we can. We just have to edit the terrain, which... Luckily, it's weird. Like, it says it's sensitive, but then it won't be sensitive when I, like, you know, build it. Because it'll just go all the way back to where it is. That's weird, because they just fit. I don't know. I guess it's like, well, better to be oversensitive than not sensitive enough, and then you get pissed when you think you're safe. Alright, so actually, first, we'll play this the smart way. One eternity later. Okay, no, hold on. I'm I'm just gonna get rid of the gray path. That idea is not working. Yep, yep. Everything is sensitive. Everything hates everything. No path. Oh yeah, because like you know, none of this connected to an arrival point. So, all right. So guess let's go back to bathroom. Oh, for gosh sakes. Of course the bathroom's bloody huge. Where's a... Sm okay, is this one smaller? I can't go that way. It's not gonna... Okay, bathroom. I'm gonna cheat. I'm putting it behind here. And actually, you know, that looks visually appealing. The uh, kind of. There we go. Now I, I actually know what I can do. So, little security section here. There you go. Out of the way. And then over here, what I can do is I can get a little bit creative. A little bit isolating. So, nope. We want... We need rocks first. Alright. So, let's go down, 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 down. There you are. And boom, there's enough space there. Oh yeah, hold on. I gotta turn off rotation of random.
There we go. The T-Rex knows what we're doing now. We're cooking with gas. Or with rock. There you go. And we'll do this a few more times. God, I wish you could get these on the path. Like, they're so close. Like, they're literally etching onto it. But then it's like, nope, we're not going to make it. And there you go, the archway is complete, and then da -da -da, you see in the inside, and right here, now we'll get to work on, well actually we'll work on this part a bit more later. First we need to work on over here, and up here, and then in here. We'll do the decorating position later, and also I realized something a little bit dangerous with this, I need to... Okay, we will delete those for the moment. What we're going to do next is first we're going to build a ramp up. And also, let's, uh, we can etch the terrain ever so slightly more. Ah, that's some good root beer. I mean, non-sponsored, non-sponsored, um, caffeinated, carbonated drink, whatever. It's not what I said it was. <laughs> Alright, hotels, let's see. Okay, we can actually fit one larger one first. Uh, I am really regretting making the... The, this was so many... Why does Sorna have so many rivers, for God's sake? Are you serious? How? There's literally no room for you to move. Seriously, how? How? I I'm leaving them. If they want to get out, they can get out. This is a free country, after all. Small hotel. Take two. And then here, we'll have our two zip lines at the same point. They're in attractions, Austin. Which one did I use? Did I use a JP one? Yes, I did. Alright, so JP numero unos. I just made it impossible for myself. I made it on snap. All right, up here. Well, actually, let's try that again. There you go. We'll go stretch a path for the moment. Now, attractions, Austin. Oh my God. I am so sorry to anyone who like is like, can this guy not remember anything? And clearly I can't. And also, I can't remember that these guys have like a masterfully enraging hitbox. I should have remembered because it caused me to rage quit with them over here. All right, let's try this. All right. So, one of these is coming up. So, add zipline connection. How crazy. T 
Let's try it. Let's go the other way. Add zipline connection there. And then this one... It's probably gonna actually be taller. Nope, it's, pre it's pretty much the same. Why is this one taller? What the hell? Seriously? Why is this one needing to be taller? It's literally... What about this one? Does this one raise up? No! This one doesn't! Look at it! What's the difference? Okay, screw this. I don't care if it's more annoying, like, looking that way. Uh, these ziplines are so... I defended them against Evo for so long, now I feel her pain. And I hate it. Uh, let the hate flow through you, especially since a certain trailer came out. Uh. Alright. So. Here. Is going to be. A fur ball nut. Apple corn and. <laughs> Go away path. Bugger off. You're buggering me. All right. Boom. Stop laughing, Theory. It's not funny. That better be annoyance as well, Mr. Rex or Mrs., whichever one you are. All right. Boom. There you go. Okay, there we go. All right, and... Stop it! The next day. Alrighty, folks, we're back. We're back at it, and we just need to go. There you go. And right in here. Do I want to? Oh god, that's what I feared. Yeah, we'll do that. And then what we'll do is we can put, if we want some plants, we'll put them in like little troughs. This will be a little closed off area that we'll work on in a second. We gotta work over here first. And what we can do now is get to work over here. Okay, T-Rex says, calm down, Jesus. Good God. What the heck did I do? Alright. And we're gonna go with a nice well, actually we're gonna change it up for this one we'll go for a little bit of a moon okay apparently we've got loads of path overcrowding which is fine that's fine no, 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 no. We need you to go right there. And then we'll close this off a little bit. This will be a little spot for guests. That's a little weird, but... Yeah, I can make that work. I can make that work. And that can go bye-bye. Because we don't need that. And then... I don't know why I have it here, but whatever. And then we'll force this up here. And... I guess we can work on... We're not going to do anything here. There's no reason to put anything here. Like, I don't think we need any more guest facilities. But what we can do... Is we... Need... To get... Oh, for gosh sake! Are you serious? Really? You? <laughs> Serious? Seriously? Okay, that works fine. Go there. Oh my god, I was gonna be like, are you for reals? Bop. Biff. Come on. Okay, so. What we'll need, first of all, is... Not in there. We need this guy. We're gonna put him... As... F right about there. And then... We need water, 
Because, you know, we're not monsters, guys. Wait, 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 wait a second. I don't think I can actually... No, I can't feed them. I don't think I can put the Sinosauropteryx in here. Can I get it? Because it won't allow these. Okay, it'll allow goat feeders. Okay, so for now, I guess what I'll do... Ugh, okay. I'm gonna break my rules. The carnivores, I will turn off meat feeders, because I had a cool idea where, like, I envisioned it being Jeopterus or Dimorphanon in here, and that Sinosauropteryx would also be in there, basically climbing up the trees and nicking one or two every occasion or something. You know, just like something that some predators would do. Some small ones like that. They might go up for the small flyers. Before we do the plants, we need a little bit of a rock platform, which won't be anything too crazy. And also, I can't do a Dimorphodon because there's no way I'm getting a fish feeder in here. Well, maybe we could? Uh, also, why is it elevating? Why is the water elevating again? God damn it! Stop it! I'm sick of it! Nuh-uh! Nope, nope, nix, nai, nuh uh nuh uh Never! Alright, let's try that again. A little bit of a dip. There you go. A little bit of water. There we go. Oh, for gosh sakes, that's why. Ooh. Okay, maybe I can squeeze it in here. Ugh, the things I do for the for these animals. I don't even know why I'm worrying so much in this case because I'm gonna turn off feeders because of you freaking squirrels. Uh, yep, we're gonna have a bit of water sticking out, which is fine. It's, it's fine, Austin. It's fine. No, it's not. It's so cubical. Ugh. Serenity now, Austin. Serenity now. Serenity now. And what we'll do is we're gonna go... We're gonna fill it up with a bunch of, well, foliage and such. And let's add a bit of a rocky spot right about there. And then we just need to add the rocks. Ooh, that's actually nicely positioned. Well, you won't go too crazy. Wait, no, that's the wrong color. I don't want pinky rocks right now. I want... Yeah, I want these ones. So let's flip this around. Turn it there. Let's add a few more, just like, you know, little tiny ones. There we go, nothing too crazy. Also, you know, with the Dimorphodons, actually, especially the smaller ones, you'd think they would also eat from the insect feeder, but nope, it's just um, Jailopteryx, which is fine, I guess, but also it's not. Decorations, I want... We're gonna go with a redwood one. I was gonna go for a jungly one, because it'll be cool, like, with them, like, branching out, but maybe we can save that for a different aviary. This one, I want redwoods, just because, like, I like the way that, like, they look. And they can stick out as well. It's fine. Only thing is, it's gonna be really obvious where we can and can't put stuff. There we go. Okay, that... Nah, yeah, it's alright. We can... We'll probably be able to add more over here for sure when we're done. Let's, let's just add some more that are different levels, actually. These ones we'll just have to squeeze every which way. It's not a practical enclosure, but it is a, gonna be a visually nice enclosure, which is what I want. And now for the bushes of death. 
I mean, not death. They're, they're just the ones that hide our murders. I, I mean, um, unfortunate incidents. Seriously? Why is... Oh my god, these aviaries... Some of these aviaries are so picky. Some of them are just like, yay, I'm fine. This one's one of the ones that's super picky. And I don't like it. From outside... That looks very nice. And a curiosity. Yes, we can do a little wraparound of trees. And that'll be nice. I'm liking that. Alright, so before... We'll add the creatures and then we'll work on this section. And then it's speed running the decorating part. Which that one definitely I'll do as like a speed run. We'll add the Sinusoropteryx, which first things first... Additional bays. Boom. Accelerated growth. And... Filter to new. There we go. No, no, stop naming it. Alright. We need to go all the way to the hatcheries over here. There you go. Sinosaurus Let's grab you. Sinos There you are, you little squirrel. Alright, let's head back. Do -do -do. Wait a minute. Everyone, oh, uh, yeah, the one dryosaur is still out. Whatever, not my problem. I mean, it is, but I don't want to deal with it right now. Alright, we're gonna go for some nice green and hold on. We're going for dark little guys. Alright, and we'll have. We'll just have one batch of them. I don't need that many. And then filters off. Alright, so, Jail Optera. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's release them. The little squirrels of doom are coming out. And then once they're out, we'll release the Jail Opterex. Well, of course, it chooses the back end of it. Switch camera. Can we see a squirrel? Can we see a bat? I see bats. I see no squirrels. Wait, no, I see a squirrel on the floor. Anyone around here? Oh, God, there's a little... Oh, hello, little beauty. Oh, he looks so... Oh, that's a good color, actually. A little bit of blue on the wings. Uh, and then imagine a Sinosauropteryx just comes and nips him. I know they don't actually do that, but just imagine that as a sight. That'd be just like, ooh, hot damn. And here we are, guys. We're at the speed build portion, which isn't really a build now. All we're doing is basically doing all the little details, the decorations, and fixing a little few things here and there. And I'm gonna be talking briefly, and then the rest you'll just have to watch because it's kind of late at night when I'm doing this, and my parents are asleep, and I don't want to disturb them. I'll be back with the outro of the video when we are there. But sit back and enjoy as I decorate this entire section, which took me a lot longer than I thought, even though it'll be a quick one for you guys.
Mud and Sia there. Welcome back to, well, hearing me, I guess. We're at the end of the video, and I gotta say, this was a fun build as well. Um, it was, it was kind of crazy how I felt, like, completely out of it, because this build actually took a lot longer than I expected it to. It took just under two hours, which was a good thing, because it was easier for me to edit down, but also a bit of a surprise, but, you know, makes sense. It's been a while since I've recorded this. I've done too many, um, theory videos and, like, um tricks videos so I haven't really been doing one of these episodes lately again as usual but I just want to say thank you for watching guys you guys are awesome and I want to hear your guys' suggestions for the next episodes I know I said the next episode will probably be the hybrid section but that might change you never know an idea might strike my head that I just gotta do thank you so much for watching guys maybe liking subscribing be safe out there, and remember that you are all amazing, and never forget about that. I'll see you all in the next one, guys, but until then, enjoy yourself.